Hello everyone. So in week nine assignment, um, you uh, will complete the program uh, with the uh, loop. So this is gonna be an extension version of the uh, week eight assignment, uh, where we use the enum and uh, uh, get an input from the user, and then the program gonna a uh, display the corresponding uh, season of the year. So uh, this this assignment pretty the same, but uh, instead of using simple um, input from the user, now you have a loop in order to repeat the process if the user wants to continue the, the, the process uh, by enter different uh, numbers, and then you can display different seasons a year. Okay. So uh, if you read the instruction. Uh, posted in the class website, you should be able to see the uh, instruction, uh, something like that. So uh, the enum of the month right here has been uh, uh, provided in the instruction. So basically, you just type this in, and this one can be the skeleton of the code. You go into uh, add more the code in order to complete it. Okay. Right, so here's some of the uh, variable uh, declaration right here. We have a string uh, in, in order to uh, store the uh, uh, the month entered by user in the string type, and then you have the integer type of the month where we convert this one into the uh, integer type, and using this one you can uh, display, uh, display the corresponding season of the year over there. Okay. All right. The important part of this uh, assignment gonna be the do. Um, the the do uh, why loop we have right here okay so the do you the program gonna uh, uh, do whatever inside here why the condition right here gonna be true okay so uh, the idea here that you can repeat this process if the user gonna enter the uh, uh, question if you want to continue or not so if the answer is yes uh, you gonna come back right here and do all the stuff right here and by the end right here you gonna ask the user on here do you want to continue if the user answer is yes uh, you gonna uh, check the condition right here if condition is uh, uh, true uh, you come back and you repeat again if the answer here is no so it means this condition right here is false uh, you gonna go down right here and you do something and you exist uh, 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 exist the program okay all right, so let's start it with the uh, so the do right here. Um, just use the structure right here, and next one you're gonna do uh, next command right here in order to display the uh, information right here uh, to prompt the user to enter the information. So basically, you just using the uh, uh, um, right line. Uh, and then please. Enter the month in numerical values from one to twelve. So pretty uh, the same as uh, a um, command we use in week eight, right? This is basically the same. And uh, when prompt to the user, now the user gonna enter a values. So you need to take us enter. So you in the read line. Uh, and the va the value uh, of the uh, when when the user enters gonna be stored in the month string, right? So basically, whatever the user enter from the keyboard gonna be stored in the month string. But remember that month string that's gonna be the e uh, the string type. Now we need to convert into the month type right here. So basically, because the switch case is right here gonna based on the the number, the integer. Uh, but this is a string, so you need to convert it. So uh, how do we convert it? Basically, using the um, conversion we already uh, done before. So uh, basically, we can do the conversion by month num equal to a convert. Uh, two, uh, you can have the uh, integer here, 
uh, we can do the 16 or 32 to be okay. Uh, what we gotta convert the month string. Yeah. Okay, so this one saying that uh, whatever the um, string type entered by the user right here gonna be converted into the month type right uh, the month number right here that's gonna be in the integer type right here. Right, so this is that the input have been a process. Now we go into the if else condition right here. First of all, we need to check if the number within the range of uh, 1 to 12 or not. Okay, if the uh, num the num the number enter in this range, so you're gonna display you enter um, uh, 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 not not in this range, so it means less than one or greater than twelve. So it means not in the range uh, of the month from one to twelve. So you're gonna display uh, basically the right line, and you okay. you enter an hour of range month. Okay, so if the user enter a number less than one or greater than twelve, um, you, uh, the program gonna display this information. Okay, and it's gonna be <coughs> go out this uh, uh, out here. So when it go down here, not gonna go into else because the else gonna be uh, complement with the if condition right here. So if the program jump in here, it gonna display this one and jump out the else. The end of the else gonna be right here. Okay. <clears throat> so, on the other hand, if the enter month uh, between 1 and 12, they're going to go down to the L right here. So, that's going to do uh, whatever uh, inside the L um, statement right here. So, inside here, we use the switch uh, statement in order to check what the number have been, this, uh, have been entered. So, basically, we're going to case 1, case 2, case 3, and case 12, and so on. Okay, so basically, do the same. So uh, K1 have been uh, completed for you. So uh, this one could be January. So that's gonna be displayed today's winter season and you break. So once you get in here, or the enter number is one. So you display this one and you stop right here and you jump out this one and you go down right here. If the number enter is two, you're gonna go right here. So what you're gonna do, display the season. So basically to treat the same. Right line to Today e winter season, right? Like that. It's so simple, right? <coughs> and then uh, you break it, okay? And your task to complete this one, you can repeat for K3, uh, K4, K5, and so on, okay? So all of them gonna be a uh, completed down here within this this uh, 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 curly uh, braces right here, okay? <clears throat> I'm not going to complete this one, but your task is going to be complete uh, K3 uh, uh, through K12, okay? Alright, so the next one right here, uh, you going to, so after the um, program going to display what the season is and going to ask the user, uh, uh, do you want to continue the program? If the answer answer uh, yes, it means why. Uh, you gonna uh, come back and do the same right here. If the answer no, you gonna go out right here and you display something. Okay, all right. So how how do we check it? So first of all, we need to take the input, uh, the answer as the input uh, by the variable repeat check right here. Oh, I forgot to declare a variable right here. That could be string repeat check. Okay. We declare, uh, declare the variable, repeat check in the string type right here, then we're gonna use down here, otherwise we get the error. So this one gonna be read line. Whatever the uh, user enter uh, for this um, for this question right here, gonna be stored in the repeat check right here, okay? So the repeat check gonna be used later on right here to see if the user gonna be enter yes or no. So this one say, if the answer is yes, this means repeat check equal y is mean true. Uh, you gonna come back uh, from uh, on top of the do right here to repeat the whole thing, and then you gonna go down right here and ask the user again and repeat again and again. 
uh, if the user uh, continue answer yes. If the answer no, you're gonna go out of this while loop right here because the condition is here is false. So down here you can display a um, whatever the uh, program here. Thank you for using the program. So basically, right line. Thank you for using our program. Okay, that's it. Um, and then the read right here gonna be a uh, um, stop the uh, the uh, the control so you can see the outcome. Okay, I think I think that's that's all. So um, you need to complete this uh, uh, switch uh, uh, statement right here in order to complete the program. So uh, let's uh, try to com compile and uh, you see. So basically, you're gonna display that here. I can enter number one. Uh, and let's say today the winter season uh, and asking do you want to continue so if I say yes and I hit enter they can ask me again and number two uh, today winter season again yeah yes yes I can have number three uh, I don't have any for a case number three so let's go uh, all the way uh, uh, to the end right here and asking me so basically uh, I say um, no, uh, so they could uh, go down to the end right here. Say thank you for using the program. Okay, all right. I think I think that's all for the uh, week nine assignment. Uh, so uh, please um, follow the instruction, um, complete the code, and also write the report and uh, submit the uh, code file together with the report uh, to the Dropbox.